Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to the video on the Adam Neal channel. Okay, so we're gonna do um a couple. We're gonna do something new on this channel. I'm gonna start something new, a new video on this channel. Um, this is um, my favorite DVDs. Um, as you guys can tell, um, I'm a I'm a film expert. Um, I'm also into music. Um, but I'm also I'm a film expert. <laughs> I am a film TV um expert. So yeah, um, and these are some of my favorite DVDs that that I've, that I've collected over the years. I've got t collections of DVDs, um, <laughs> uh, you know, what I mean, everywhere, um, and so I just like to I like to introduce them to you all. Um, also, these have just been collections of DVDs that I've been collecting since I was, uh, since I was a kid. Really, I just like um, collecting DVDs, I like watching films and collecting DVDs. So yeah, um, so we'll just we'll just get into it. And these are some of my favourite ones that um, I've collected over the years. So we're gonna go with this one first. Um, the boy in the striped pajamas. I loved this film as a kid. I loved I loved the film as a kid. I loved the film as uh, I loved the book as well. Um, I first got into boy in the striped pajamas when I was in primary school, primary seven. I want to say it was. Um, we did a we had to do something. Uh, it was something. Yeah, it was like a, a work thing we had to do. Um, so like yeah, in, in primary school, um, involving the boy in the striped pajamas, we watched the film and we read the book, and then we had to yeah, and I just I loved both the film and the book. It was just an amazing, it's just an amazing film and it's just an amazing book. And if you guys have never seen this before or never read the book, I would one hundred percent recommend it. But this is the film we're going to be talking about because the film, the film is slightly more different than the book. Um, it's a different different ending. Than the book, um. So yeah, um. But the film, the film is good, and so is the book, and so is the book as well, um. So yeah, but we're gonna be talking about the film today, um. So this is the film, um. It's really, it's really good. I'm not gonna spoil what happens, um. For those who haven't seen it, however, as I say, it's a film I would, hundred percent recommend, um. So yeah, and it's, uh, it's a very sad film. It's a very sad book. But it's a brilliant, brilliant story. It's a brilliant film. Um, and it's also a brilliant book. And I would 100% recommend this. This is The Boy in the Straight Pajamas. Now, this next one is four films in one. Um, now, all four of these films were brought out in different, um, in different um, years, shall I say. But this is a collection of four. They brought out the four. And they're working on the fifth one right now, um, which will be coming out next year. It is a Christmas film. It's Nativity. Nativity, that's all four of the Nativity films so far, as I say, they're working on the fifth one right now, so it should be hopefully coming out next year. Um, so yeah, um, we've got Nativity 1, Nativity 2, Nativity 3, Nativity 4, all great films, all great films. I would say though, my favourite of Nativity films has to be this one, Nativity 2. Um, yeah, it's, that's my favourite one I would recommend. Um, I, would, I would recommend all of them, shall I say, um, but Nativity 2 is my favourite one, uh, just here. Um, my second favourite one, it's tough, it's between Nativity 2, uh, Nativity 1 and Nativity 3. Um, I would say Nativity 1, Nativity 1 was a good one as well. That's probably my second favourite. Um, Nativity 3, obviously, the next. And then, obviously, even though it's it's ranked fourth, Nativity Rocks is still a great film um, as well. And I would 100% recommend that to you as well. Uh, so yeah, and as I say, they're working on a fifth Nativity film. Um, right now, um, so hopefully it should be coming out next year. Um, but they're all good films. Um, they're all good films, and I would hundred percent recommend them to you all. Okay. Uh, so this next one, um, this next one is one I've recently newly bought. Well, I recently had it and I lost it, and I've recently re bought it. As you can see, it's still in the packaging. It's Horrible Histories. Um, Horrible Histories has always been a favorite TV series of mine. Um, me and my brothers used to watch Horrible Histories all the time. Um, we just we just loved it. It was a very brown show. It was the horrible histories. Um, so yeah, it's still going on. Believe it or not, it's still going on. Believe it or not, the film was a bit. Mm, the film was <laughs> yeah. I didn't re I didn't really like the film. The film was a bit. Mm, but the series the series is still going on. They've not made another film. They're not planning on making another film. The series is a bit. Yeah, the series is better than the film. Um, so yeah, I would not recommend the Horrible Histories film. Um, that's good. I, I, should, I should do that as a video. I'll make do that as the next video. The films I would not recommend. <laughs> um, I might do that as a. I'll, 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 if you if you guys want to see it, comment down below. Um, saying make a video you would not recommend. Um, because I do have a I do have a few I do have a few <laughs> films and TV series I would not recommend. Um, and so yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, Horrible Histories. Uh, this was series one. 
Um, I think I've got older series now. Uh, this one was specifically series one, and it's Horrible Hits is just a brilliant show. Um, just a brilliant show. My favourite Horrible History sketch has to be the, the Stupid Devs one. Stupid Devs, Stupid Devs, they're funny because they're true. Uh, it's, just, it's just an amazing, um, <laughs> it's just an amazing, um, um, it's just, it was, it was always just a great TV series, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, so that's Horrible Histories. Um, now this next one is Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now this one was the most recent Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, Ghostbusters. And they're practically bringing out Ghostbusters Afterlife 2. I believe that coming out in a few weeks. Um, which I'm very excited to go and see. I'm going to go and see it opening day. <laughs> I'm going to go and see it opening day. Um, so yeah. But Ghostbusters Afterlife was a good film. Is it my favourite Ghostbusters film? No, but it's, it's quite high up there. It's quite high up there. It's still a very, very good film. The first Ghostbusters film was just incredible. It really was. Um, and yeah, the best, the best said about Ghostbusters answer the call, with the better. The better, the less, less said about um, Ghostbusters, uh, uh, Ghost, Ghostbusters answer the call. Yeah, the better, the better. <laughs> Horrible film. It was just wasn't good. Um, so yeah. Um, but this was Ghostbusters Afterlife, the most recent one that was brought out in 2021. A great, again, another great film. Um, it's a good way to, 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 to get Ghostbusters back um, because um, it's a good way to kind of bring it back in for like a next generation kind of thing. Um, I felt like they didn't want to end it on Ghostbusters Answer the Call. I felt like they didn't want to do that and so they brought out Ghostbusters Afterlife. And it's just it's it's and it's a better way. It's not the ending. It's not the ending though. Um, do you know what I mean? And I don't think Ghostbusters Afterlife is going to be two. Will be the ending either. I think they're going to make a few more Ghostbusters films. Hopefully, hopefully. And um, so yeah. Um, but Ghostbusters Afterlife was a brilliant film, and I would recommend it. Okay, so we've got three more left. And um, this next one uh, is Mary Poppins. I've always been a fan of Mary Poppins. Um, for those who don't know me, um, I'm an entertainer. I've been, uh, and I have been. I've been. Uh, I'm an entertainer. Um, me and my friend Camden, we've been doing. We've been entertaining for about twelve years now. Um, well, no, not not twelve. Um, about six, seven, six, seven years we've been doing. Um, but really, um, the when I was in primary school, we did we did Mary Poppins, and I believe, and I just I just loved it. We watched the film. Um, we watched the film and it's brilliant. Um, I just I've always loved Mary Poppins, as you see. Like if, like, if you've not seen it, you know what I mean. It came out in nineteen fifties. It came in the fifties. Um, this film. Um, no, it came out in the sixties, early sixties. What am I saying? Early sixties. Um, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Um, so yeah. Um, and this one's the forty fifth anniversary edition. So that was yeah. Um, so yeah, that was over thirty years ago now. I believe it was 30 years ago. Uh, so yeah, this one came out. Um, but yeah, brilliant film. Uh, brilliant film, Mary Poppins, and I would recommend it. Okay, um, so this next one is the exact same as Mary Poppins um, and Boy in Strip Pajamas. It's the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, now, I've always been a big fan of the, the Narnia films as well. Um, we watched it in primary school. We watched this one in primary school as well, quite, uh, quite a bit. Um, and it was just, it was just brilliant. Uh, it was just brilliant, the first one. And then they brought out Narnia, Prince Caspian. <laughs> and again, similar to Ghostbusters, after, uh, Answer the Call. Um, the less said about that film, the better. <laughs> but then they brought out the, the third one. And again, they pulled it back. They pulled it back with the third one. That was, the third one was a brilliant film. But we're going to be talking about The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, so yeah. This one was just a brilliant film. Um, it was the first, the first one into the the Narnia franchise, and um, so yeah, it's the most recognizable one at the the franchise. Uh, so so yeah, um, just a brilliant film, a brilliant film, and I would recommend this one to you guys. Um, it's brilliant. Now this next one, this is going to be our last one. Yeah, for this video. Um, this is on the buses. This is something on the buses is a TV show. I would one hundred percent recommend. It's very very funny. It was made in the seventies and um, early seventies. I want to say early seventies, mid seventies. It was in the seventies. It was made. Um, ve all they're all very good episodes, and they're all good. Um, they made three films. They made three films. They made um the first on the buses film just called on the buses, and um, the second on the buses film was called Community on the buses, and then the third one was called Holiday on the buses. All great films. They were all they were all good films and they were all good episodes. Um, on the buses. Um, I still watch them all today. I've got the full box set. 
Uh, so yeah, um, but this is the this is the the uh, this is just uh, one of the ones that's got um, some of the episodes on it. Um, it's got quite a good few episodes on here. Um, the Inspector's Niece, and um, that one was quite a good episode. Um, Stan's Worst Day was a very good episode. Very funny that one. And then um, the Lodger as well was a very good um, episode as well. Uh, so yeah. Um, so I would recommend on the buses um, to you as well. Okay, so that is about it for this film. Um, for this for this film. <laughs> um, for this um for this um video. Um, and I hope you guys all like and subscribe. And um, thank you. Thank you for watching.